run again. Um, so I'm doing this time lapse video of this horse, and I was just thinking about something, and I thought I'd just pour, um, stop the time lapse and kind of like talk about it. And you know, it's something personal to me that I kind of struggle with with drawing, with painting, and stuff. Is that I tend to struggle with creativity. You know, it, it, it was easier when I was younger, I believe. But as you get older, everything needs to be right and perfect. And it's kind of hard to just let loose, for me at least. It's like I'm such a realist, logical type of person that I have to kind of like stick to certain strict rules when I'm painting. You know, it has to be realistic. It has to be this, it has to be that. But... Part of me feels like that's boring. So initially this horse was supposed to be kind of free, almost try to attempt almost like an abstract to it, which I'm probably gonna still try to make it a little bit abstract-ish. But like my logic is just struggling with the idea of, of that. You know, so you know, I know a lot of people creativity creativity comes easy. You know, you could just come up with stuff, and then some people realism comes. Diff is is pretty tricky. They just don't know how to turn off their brain and draw what they're seeing. You know, and I kind of touched on that in one of my um, in the drawing with Lupita, where I was saying that. You have to tell your brain, don't draw what a nose look like, or eye look like, I think. Draw what you see. So, you know, some people might struggle on that. But my issue is, you know, making, bringing out more of that creative side, you know. And kind of one of the goals of my channel, not really my channel, but creative channel, but it was more for me to really bring out my creative side. And me and a couple friends from the art from that I knew from um, art school back in the day, from this graphic design class, we were talking and we were saying, you know, we're on Facebook talking and we're saying, you know, and this is right before I created the channel. We were saying that um, that it's like we we just so bogged down with life and this and that. It's like we don't have time for our art. And then for me, I feel like I don't have that spark and that creative gene that I had back in the day. So it's just one of those things where. You know, you struggle with as an artist, man. And I'm probably gonna start doing videos like this, like with the artist struggles. Just talk about stuff that you know we as artists struggle with sometimes. And maybe you as an upcoming artist or just trying to get into it, and you might have run into some of these struggles. You know, just to kind of like have a talk, have a discussion about it. You know. Just something I was thinking about. I thought I'd share that with you guys. But I guess we'll see how this ends, how this turns out. You know, I'm thinking about coming back in and kind of abstracting it. And to be honest, it's freaking terrifying, man, to think about doing that. Because I feel like I'm going to ruin it. I probably will, but we'll see. Anyway, all right. Enough about that. Back to the time lapse. So this is the um, the finished product. Um, kind of have a little mixed feelings about it. It's alright, I guess. 
I mean, I like the fact that I did a different background than what I'm typically used to. I usually do some type of landscape or something like that, but this is kind of, you know, something I just came up with. And that's all right. You know, the horse itself, I kind of try to hold back on too much detail because I want it to be, to feel more free. But then, eh, I don't think I really achieved that much. But it's a step in the right direction, man. So, here it is. You know, it's okay. I'm happy with it to a certain degree. But, you know, as we artists, always trying to improve. Always looking forward to doing better and doing more. Alright, so see you guys next time.